Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I got a really cool video for you today. I'm one of the first in the world to see this, and you're gonna to wanna to see it too. It's the new GMC Sierra electric truck, and it's got really cool features to it. Lots of details on this, Denali Edition 1, lots of lingo. It's a really cool video, and you guys are gonna enjoy it. Let's get to all of that right now. Today I'm in an undisclosed location with GMC, and I'm with GMC's... Tom Namovich, I'm GMC's product marketing manager. Okay, and we happen to be staying next to the future, or a truck that is the future. And long name on this one, I'm gonna have him say it. Well, it's our GMC Sierra EV, and this is the Sierra EV Denali Edition 1. Okay. It's our launch model for the Sierra EV. Yep, all right, so cool. So we all had this, this Chevy truck already. Now we have the GMC, they're doing some cool stuff with this. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So we have the front here, and I'll let Tom take it away here. So what do we have going on front here? Yeah, really, this, uh, our, our, our Sierra EV, we're leading with this uh, Denali Edition 1, and it's really our chance for GMC to, to highlight our top of the line, our peak of our product for the Sierra EV. So with the Denali, we've got a very clean front end. We've got uh, the GMC logo that's illuminated and the, the perimeter of the grill will be lit as well. And it's really a proud front end for the brand. It, um, our ice trucks are our internal combustion engine trucks. We have a very proud grill. We're carrying that forward with, uh, with this version of our, our pickup as well. And we got another, you know, just a great uh, high quality premium uh, front end for the vehicle too. Very proud traditional truck styling with uh, an upright, uh, um, upright front end and a really strong presence for the for the Sierra EV. And then we have some black. Is, it, is this a black paint, or do we do some chrome down there? Yeah, it's a gloss black. So we yeah. got a oh, metallic. Oh, I see, we have a metallic chrome there. I yeah, see. with the metallic finish around here, a Gavano finish here, and then a, a gloss black highlighted throughout the the exterior of the of the Denali, and uh, really on this on this part then too. Yeah, I knew we had to have chrome here somewhere. So you had the chrome there. All right, on the headlights here, we have this. Uh, Unique look these days, the headlights. Yeah, well, and uh, you're seeing a lot of lights on the on the uh, vehicle. We've got our daytime running lights that also perform the function of uh, approach and departure animation, and uh, it's a sweeping turn signal as well. We've got uh, three indicators here for the charging of the vehicle. It'll be a successive uh, uh, illumination for the charging status in addition to the charge port. And then we've got strategically placed low headlamps, the high beams and low beams, which really help for uh, the visibility for the driver and to uh, ensure that oncoming traffic and traffic you're following don't get the high headlights shining into their, into their faces or into their mirrors. Wow, that's impressive. I mean, I don't know about you, but I drove down this morning. I blinded a bunch of people. I apologize now. All right, coming on the sides, we have we have the little GMC going on here. Look at that. Oh, sure. Design yeah, detail. We, we got to get yeah. that in there. Also part of our LED lighting, we've got our uh, our engineers love to call these WAMS lights, and that's a wheel opening molding lights. And uh, so we've got uh, our, our marker lamps in the wheel opening moldings, continuing the all LED theme for the lighting. And then we've also got, you know, very visible here on the side too is our 24 inch wheel and tire uh, for the Sierra um, EV Denali. So uh, we, yeah, and obviously pointing out the Denali that's uh, laser etched into the, the wheel also. Yep, yep, and you said this wasn't the standard tire, we're just gonna put this on there because you have a new one coming? Well, yeah, this is uh, for the show truck property, yep. but yeah, we'll have, we'll have 24 inch uh, um, wheel and tires with 35 inch OD for the, it's coming. Okay, and we come around the side, we have the Denali spelled up there. Yep. You know, yep, Denali so yeah, cool. we got the Denali marking there. Uh, just to further talk about, we continue the gloss black theme with, with the wheel open moldings, the, the mirrors, the the um, the trim around the windows is uh, also the gloss black, and then we you know we keep the gloss black where we need to, but the steps are not gloss black. Obviously, you're going to step on those, and, and uh, so we, we yeah you don't gloss too slippery right yes, yeah right. yeah That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but but we continue that theme as well. Um, is this a good time to talk about the interior? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, that screen is like beckoning to me. That's I mean, right. I mean, that screen's bigger than the, my first TV. I'll tell you what, it's so 16.8 8 inches, oh and it's the uh, largest we've had in a, in, a, in a Sierra. And the great thing about it with that 16.8 inch diagonal uh, surface that we have, 
We also continue the theme of uh, using buttons. So you'll see at the bottom there's buttons that control the HVAC or the air conditioning uh, and heating for the vehicle. And uh, we've also got a, a very solid volume knob there as well as some strategically placed uh, virtual buttons there that that can be program switched and they can stay in, in location too. So the, the thing about a full size truck buyer or truck buyer in general is that they don't want to necessarily have to look for or go through menus to get to what they want to. So we've got big door handles on the outside. We've got a manually controlled vents that are happen to be trimmed out in some of the same gloss black as uh, the exterior. And, uh, um, and so we, we wanted to make things easy and operable then for, the, for our drivers. Is that a column shifter? That is a column. That is a, a column. column shifter. It is. It you is. You don't have anything goofy, fancy. Doesn't pop up in the center. You got to turn no, a dial or all kind no, of crazy stuff. No, it's just well. So one thing with I this like it. with this electrical uh, vehicle, this electric vehicle, and our ultimate market texture, we we have so much flat floor space here. We want to take advantage of it with the console too. So we took the shifter, put it on the column, and opened up uh, this very huge and expansive uh, uh, console space then too. Right. So with that, so we got room on the sides for a laptop or a tablet. And then we've got a uh, very, uh, very pronounced deep storage uh, that's really two layers. It's underneath the armrest and then uh, through underneath the cup holders and underneath this inductive uh, phone charger, which is wood. We're actually charging through the wood, uh, this open pour wood that we, we have a big expanse of it on, on the passenger side here, but we also take advantage of charging through the wood uh, for the phone. It charges when it's slid underneath as well. But really that flat floor we're talking about, moving the shifter to the column, uh, it's just a huge space. You can, whether it's a cooler, a camera bag, or whatever you need to, it, there's a, it's a very expansive storage space in the console. It looks like these, these screens are about the same height you're not losing outward visibility by having some screen up too high, which is a concern with these big screens. I mean, you gotta lower them down so you can actually see over top. Right, exactly, especially too because, you know, the change to this, elect because of our Ultium architecture too, we, we've lowered the, the, the surface of the instrument panel as well. We were trying to increase the outward visibility. Uh, we do have a, a HUD as well on the other side so that uh, we have a 14 inch HUD uh, head-up display, and then uh, we've got also, a, in addition, our programmable cluster, our, our driver information cluster on the on the on the driver side. Yeah, I mean it's kind of crazy with these EVs to get all the technology, but they still have to. What's the word? Oh, you got to be able to see to drive. <laughs> kind of odd these days, right? Of course. It's yeah. still a vehicle. Wait, what? Yeah. We continue the Denali theme. So this is our Denali. Talked about the wood. Talked about our screen. We've also got a unique quilting pattern on the on the seats. Oh yeah. And uh, uh, carry on the theme of the Denali execution for our interior. And we have the Panamera moon roof or something. Yep. So our, our fixed panoramic uh, glass roof uh, is coated for uh, ultraviolet and infrared and it's also tinted uh, as well. So we can not get sunburned while we're driving. <laughs> That's exactly That's right. Really nice. Some people like Some us people, really, uh, yeah. maybe <laughs> really watch out for that. Exactly. <laughs> he kind of needs a hat with driving this around. <laughs> all right, coming to the sides, we have a uh, little bit of, is that unlocking all four doors? We have the doorless yep, entry, yep, key this entry yep, kind of stuff. Exactly, yep. exactly. And, 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 oh, uh, editor's note, all kind of stuff. We're not getting in because it's still some work in progress inside, but I'm just going to show you the guys what's going to look on inside. So, right. You want to take a look in the rear? I do. Yeah, so and if I could highlight then too, so the rear seat, uh, also afforded by our flat floor is, uh, I don't know, I'm less than six feet tall and, and I'm nowhere close to touching the, the front seat in this. Uh, we've got a very expansive uh, leg room and a big big back seat. I mean, you, got, you can see though also, we've got part of the seat folded down. So we have our 60% section of the seat folded down to really show the functionality of our multi-pro mid-gate too. Yeah, and so we have flat loading floor, you have some, looks like AC vents back there too. Exactly. Heated up board seats. Yep. Exactly. And then the fold down, so. Yep. Yeah, I tell you what, these days, the more I sit in the back of these trucks, the more this is kind of the spot to sit. The, yeah, it really is. not <laughs> a penalty box yeah, at all. No, it's like, used to be, yeah, it used to be a penalty box. Now it's right. like, hey, heated seats, USBs, all, uh, yeah, it's incredible. That's exactly right. So very cool. Yep. So, uh, but that's that's another great part about our truck then. So, at least, uh, so walking to the rear then, you can see that we, we, we maintain the traditional styling of, a, of the pickup too. So we have a very traditional style cab and, and design theme for, uh, for, the, for the exterior of the truck. Yeah, I mean, and obviously, since it is a, a single construction, it's a cab and box uh, together, we don't have the, the cab, uh, the gap between the cab and the box, and that gave our designers a chance to further, uh, to highlight the, the product too. Yeah, I mean, because typically you have a buttress here that kind of connects both together to keep more rigidity, but it's not quite as defined as 
other vehicles have done years past. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, uh, and we've got the structure then too. So, with our Ultium architecture, we've got the unified construction of the, you know, the battery mounted to the body, and that's that further adds to the structural rigidity of the vehicle too. And, and just to be clear, the battery is underneath there, right? It's uh, yeah, it's okay. underneath the passenger compartment. Yep. Okay, and it's surrounded by protection and not going to get wet. And all, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Do you know somebody asked me once they can drive their EV through the car wash? Well, yeah, um, um, yeah. Okay, moving yeah. along. <laughs> so we have GMC tailgates. We have your multi. Pro tailgate? Multi-pro tailgate. Yes, GPU, I yeah. got it right. Yeah, exactly. All right, here we go. Yeah, as we innovated with the multi-pro tailgate several years ago in the Sierra, we, we bring it to uh, for for the, for the Sierra AV as well, and just continue the the great features. Of, it's a six-function tailgate, yep. and obviously we've got this. We're showing it with the load stop up now, and this is probably a good time to talk about with the load stop up and with the the mid gate down. We can really we extend the functionality of the bed to 10 feet 10 inches. So just under 11 feet, we've got a, a, a stand-up paddleboard here just under 11 feet. It's really showing and highlighting that too. And this points out as well that with the the split multi-pro mid gate, we can see a third a passenger in the rear seat then too and carry uh, the, the stand-up paddleboard. You put a you know with the tonneau cover on, uh, you know we can do a lot of things with that multi-pro mid gate functioning with the multi-pro tailgate too. Right, and you, I mean we talked earlier with this up that kind of stuff. You can haul drywall in here, you have plywood, you have yep. a tonneau cover, and it covers it up so it keeps the wind or weather as well. Yeah, exactly. So with the tailgate up and with the mid gate down, the, that gives over uh, nine feet of, of flat low floor, easily carrying uh, building materials, drywall, plywood, etc. And then when you get to the job site. <gasps> Bam! You get some work done, right? Oh, that's right. That's right. So exactly. I like that segue. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. No, thanks. So, to highlight that, so we have 10.2 kilowatts of exportable or usable power uh, from the vehicle. So that couple, well, in addition to the plugs here, a plug in the console and a plug in the e-trunk, uh, and when we couple that with the Ultium power bar, which is a, a, a power strip that plugs into the charge port. That's how we offer 10.2 kilowatts of power for the vehicle. So 120 volt outlets, 240 volt outlet, and then additional outlets to, to spare. Yeah, and you can always power your house too when the power goes out. And right, yeah, so part of it too, with, with, these, with our 10.2 kilowatts of uh, power and a, four, uh, and a 400 mile range battery, uh, we can power uh, really uh, up to 21 days essential home devices too. So giving us a chance, whether it's in Florida due to hurricane or ice storms or wherever you, you may be, gives us a chance to really take advantage of this large range battery and to use the exportable power then too. In essential, we're talking, let's see, uh, the 60 inch TV, the coffee pot, the kegerator, the, right? You know, if that's essential for you, then that's what we're describing. Exactly. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. right. I think I nailed that but one. But maybe a heat pump and then maybe a, uh, a well yeah. pump and things like that then too. Yeah, drink whiskey, keep yourself warm. <laughs> All right, here we go. So on the on the bed, we still have the step. And yeah. we, oh, we have the GMC kind of another uh, there, but another GMC there. Look yeah. at that. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, the corner step has proven you know, a great utility for pickups that we don't want to lose that function too. Right, right. So in addition to the, the step that folds down from the multi-pro tailgate, we keep the step there. We've got a step also so aligned with the, where the license plate is too. Okay, and then talking about towing on this because we're at the work end of the truck, right? So yep. towing was 9,000? 9,500 pounds. 9, 5, oh, okay. Yeah, so that's for, that's our, for our Sierra EV Denali Edition 1. And as we come out with other trims and, and battery ranges, we'll see the, the towing and the payload. This payload for our Edition 1 is 1,300 pounds. We'll see those numbers go up and, and adjust depending upon the, the, the weight of the vehicle then too. So for fully loaded, max out uh, Denali, then uh, this is at 9,500 pounds. I feel like we're talking about physics there, right? So weight and towing, you add more weight in the vehicle, you can't tow as much. It's kind of interesting how that works. Hmm. You're better there than I am. I think. <laughs> yeah, <but exactly. laughs> All right, Tom, what do we got with this e-trunk? The new name for it, by the way, no frunk, e-trunk. Much better. That's right. This uh, something obviously for a lot of electric vehicles is to have uh, open space under hood because there is no engine or and transmission underneath the vehicle. So we have a very large e trunk that we have with uh, it's got a 120 volt power outlet. It's got two drain plugs, so it could be used for a variety of things from uh, storing wet goods and otherwise. That uh, with two drains, it's well lit then as well, and it gives something to a. a 
traditional pickup buyer that they don't always have a lockable storage space that they can uh, put, put their goods or whatever else in. So really something that makes this truck truly livable, uh, unlike some other uh, pickup trucks then too. All right, so let's talk a little more about this. I have Charles with me. Charles, what are your uh, amazing title again? I'm Program Engineering Manager for Battery Electric Trucks. Does that fit on a business card? No, it doesn't, but we're all virtual now Goodness, anyway, right? right. <laughs> Your LinkedIn profile's gotta be crazy. All right, so talking about the engineering in this truck, so you have, it's not a unibody, it's not a body and frame, it's a... It's a tweener, call it an Ulta body. Ulta body, <laughs> yes. I didn't have that in my marketing bingo card, sorry. So this, this new body, new structure, so you allowed to get more rigidity, which allowed you to have better ride quality. But you said like air special, we have all sorts of going on here. Yeah, absolutely. So the goal for this truck was 400 miles of range. So with that, we, we knew we couldn't go with the traditional body on frame, right? You can't just jam a bunch of battery packs within those and, 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 and get to that. So we started from a clean slate approach, ground up, and we built in the structural rigidity of the battery pack into the fundamental structure of the entire vehicle, okay. offering more structure than our typical uh, traditional trucks. And being able to build that from the ground up allowed for all of the cool things that you see, like the, the multi-pro mid-gate, the flat floor, the frunk, all of that is, is or the e-trunk, I'm sorry. Uh, all of that is part of the engineering that went into building this thing as a 400 mile range truck, which we've achieved, but enabling so much more from a design and, and capability standpoint. Right. And we still got the cool things you have. We have crab walk, which is yep. a cool name for something. We have four wheel steering, yep. right? And so then you have air suspension, so you can a little bit better ride quality when you're driving along. Um, we are in Michigan. That's an important thing to have in Michigan is ride quality with the uh, potholes. All right, and, and so uh, what else do we have going on with this truck? Yeah, so everything that you mentioned is is all integrated into the chassis, right? So when you, ha when you think about the things that we offer from a base standpoint, we have Super Cruise with advanced trailing. So that four wheel steer, the low center of gravity from, from the battery pack, the adaptive air ride uh, suspension, all allows you to trailer, you know, essentially, you know, if you're in Super Cruise mode, you know, hands free. But if you're old school and you like to do it yourself, you can almost steer this thing with one hand and have full confidence on the road due to just the inherent ride and handling dynamics that you second to none in the, in, in the truck industry. All right, and then we talked about charging. There's a, the charging was up to 350 kilowatt per hour? Yes, we, so at a, at a DC fast charging station, you can charge 350 kilowatts, which will get you uh, 100 miles in just under in just about 10 minutes. Okay, yep. so when you roast the tires, you go over a plug-in real fast. Because <laughs> you have a max power mode too. Yeah, yeah, so this comes with multiple Ooh. modes, of which one is a max power mode. So this truck is equipped with 754 horsepower and 785 pound-feet of torque. So in max power mode, you can unleash all of that power uh, and do zero to 60 in under four and a half seconds. Yeah, yeah, this is like the Dukes of Hazard mobile. So also we have dual motor, motor on this. We have two yeah. motors. Uh, where are the placement, how do they work? So you have a front and rear motor, all-wheel drive. And again, okay. that, that was, as we mentioned before the spec, 785 pound-feet of torque, 754 horsepower. You didn't re necessarily need the third motor that we did in the Hummer, the Hummer Super Truck. Okay. So we really wanted this to be more practical for your traditional truck buyer to have that load floor in the rear lower so that we can package the front and rear motor and still pull that power out while having the versatility of the mid-gate and the load floor. So you're saying that over 700 horsepower and over 700 foot-pounds of torque is good enough for most people? I hope so. <laughs> I would hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let's go ahead and cut into this video. So while I was in Detroit walking around with this truck, I wasn't able to talk about pricing. Pricing hadn't been announced yet. So I have the details right here on pricing of this truck. And this is going to be a key conversation piece for a lot of people. So again, this is the Sierra EV Edition 1. It is, it's Denali Edition 1. It's got all of the bells and whistles in it. And it's going to be a special edition. So the pricing is going to be a little bit higher than you expect. Now, they're going to offer also an elevation version. They'll have like an 84 version eventually. So there's some different varieties of versions here. And remember this Denali Edition 1 also has the 400 miles of range, charges 100 miles, DC fast charger, 800 volts. You have the four wheel steering, you have crab walk, you have air suspension, you have da 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 You have every other bell and whistle you can think of. So here's the details. GMC says, deliveries of the 2024 GMC Sierra EV Denali Edition 1 are expected to begin in early 2024 with a starting MSRP of $107,000 plus dealer freight charges, which uh, the dealer charges these days are getting to be about $2,000. So you're looking at $109,000 for this vehicle you know, without dealer markups. Further details for the full range of Sierra EV models will be announced closer to the start of production. So again, different models. Uh, with MSRP starting around $50,000 plus the dealer fees. So they're going to have some different, different versions. 
big variety of price point, just like Ford has done, everybody's done. 50,000 to 107,000. So yeah, if you're looking for this edition one, it's gonna be pricey. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's gonna be pricey. Uh, they will all be assembled domestically and globally sourced parts at GM's Factory Zero. That's the Detroit Hamtrak, Hamtrak assembly in Michigan. And so that's gonna build the Hummer, it's gonna build the Hummer SUV, Hummer pickup SUV. All the future Sierra models will be built there as well. So there's your details on the pricing of this Sierra Denali Edition 1. All right, there you go. There is the video on this, this GMC Sierra electric truck. What do you guys think? Put your comments down below. Is this something you're looking for? Is this really gonna be the next game changer for GMC? I don't know. I can see a lot of people buying this. Luxury, performance, and it looks pretty darn cool too. But hey, that's what I'm saying about today. I'll be curious to get your thoughts. Put your comments down below. Other videos over here, biggertrucktalk.com is the website. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.